one way to explore a neighborhood's nooks and crannies, walk. A lot of people probably overlook these buildings, and I was curious as to what's behind them. In 2002, Saba Al Hadi launched her own tour company, Photo Walks. A former travel agent turned photographer, Al Hadi's tours combine a bit of Boston history with picture taking pro tips. It ends up being like an eye opening experience for a lot of people. Even in familiar places like Beacon Hill. A lot of hidden gems in Beacon Hill. And one of them is the Scarlett O'Hara house. What is that? You haven't seen this before? I've never seen this before. It's not a house. It's not a house. It's actually a fake facade to cover up a concrete and brick wall. It's designed in the Greek Revival style, mm -hmm. but this white structure is not a house. One of Al Hadi's top photo tips, look for leading lines, which draw attention to a part of an image. It's best with the phone, okay. so we can poke our lens through the fence here. You see the stones leading up to the Scarlett O'Hara mm -hmm. house? That's leading lines. Also, there's sort of a vanishing point, mm -hmm. too. You're yeah. right, once you see that, it takes you right right there. That's really nice. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I passed the test? Yes. <laughs> Just steps away on Pinckney Street, a former stable turned unusual house. Make sure you don't get any distractions like the car, so you want to hold the camera up high. All the windows are a different shape and size. This is called the House of Odd Windows. Why it was designed like this? It was Ralph Waldo Emerson's uh, nephew who uh, just wanted an unusual home. The horse stable was originally built in 1802. Look at the rooftop. That's an eyebrow window. It wasn't functional, it's just a, a fun piece of architecture. Nearby on Marlborough Street in Back Bay, the first church in Boston. I absolutely love coming here because I feel like I'm in Spain. And there's architectural details that make great photo opportunities. Do you notice this arch right here? Mm -hmm. We can frame that mansion underneath this arch. What I'd like to recommend is that you get down low. Where you stand determines the composition. Yeah. Do you recommend people move in a little bit? See the move yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's perfect. The first church in Boston formed the city's first congregation. John Winthrop and the Puritans came here in 1630. This stone church was built in Back Bay in 1876 after the landfill project. Today, the church is Unitarian Universalist. This addition, built in 1972, has a humble aesthetic, says Fern Barbara Beck, head of the church's standing committee. It's a church that welcomes all. The interior reflects who we are in so many ways. Beck says traditional religious symbols are not featured here. In many religious organizations, memorials or names of current members are related to donations. These copper strips are everyone, regardless of economic status. Al-Hadi's last stop is one of her favorites, just around the corner from the church. Piper is hidden in plain sight. Piper's owners hired a Vermont-based sculptor to honor their black lab, says Al-Hadi. Piper came to greet the sculptor. His name was Jim Sardonis, and she was so excited that she got her head caught in the fence. So he said, Immediately, that was the inspiration for this art sculpture. What's your approach to the photography here? Do you see how mm -hmm. the stone fence mm -hmm. adds a really interesting element to the picture, mm -hmm. rather than, you know, just a, a picture like this? As a photographer, I'm always looking at details, and I love doing research and educating people. Many times people have said to me, I must have passed this a hundred times and never noticed it. Now, Saba also offers night photography tours where she provides tips on photographing the Zakem and Longfellow Bridges, the Back Bay skyline, and other Boston landmarks illuminated at night. She says all skill lovers are welcome on her tours. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. See you tomorrow.